up. I got you figured out. I'll give you that one.
Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 no. Not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. She is... solid? Aye. Weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch twelve knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do first hand. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. Mainsail, get up the rigging! Hand over, fist! Come on, men! Let's get her out where she needs to be! Lad, no time like the present. On the rail! Double time, boy! Come on, come on, she won't bite! You can half sail! Ah! The killer flies again! Do you feel it, lad? Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Full sail! Full sail! Go get that wind! Wind looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Dusty winds can be difficult to manage. Take us through these shallows. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. the vessels. Hold your tack to keep your right of way. Full sail! 
Seize her off! Haul in to half sail! Cottages! We're close! No sail! Full stop! Full stop! No sail! Drop anchor! We'll go ashore, buy our guns, and find our officers. Oh, hello, Miss Mandy. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. <laughs> After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. <laughs> nice to see you, too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> <laughs> Good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? I don't much care for your tone, boy. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> it's good you finally realize you're a shite sailor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out! Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come on. hell was that about? The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spotted target practice. Bring her on broadside, in. and when all guns are on target, call fire. On my mark! Fire! Well done, Reload. boy. Now, aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Fire you missed. Best bring her round again. Ready! And fire! Some old powder in there. Good. Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. 
Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. You are a fast learner. Provided something interests me. Ah, getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Deploy the half sail. Half sail. Full sail. Unfurl everything. Full sail. Destroying property on the ground, disturbing the king's no, peace, no, take no, a pick! No, no, no. What do we do? No tell but the fight back! Sink the bastard! Use the swivels on him, Captain! Reload! Ready on to fire! fire. 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 What do we do? Naught else but to fight back! Sink the bastard! Move! Use the swivels on Fire. him! Another one. Where in the bloody hell did she come from? Fire! Give me the damage report. Give me the word. Down, down. Stop her cold.
everything. Get up the rigging. Haul in the sails. I want a full stop. Got them! All of them! You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship, could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. You weeks. And not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You have your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Local utility companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming Solar Maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. 
If only they knew. What's this? A remote operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is going to get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Hear me? Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Yep. Reach you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got patients. Running diagnostics. Perfect. I've got a nice, strong signal. Just a heads up. There's no elevator access from here on out. You'll have to get up there the old-fashioned way. Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. Bright side, the slightest misstep means you're effectively at the paste. Shut up, Sean. Top of the lit up crane, you should be high enough to make the jump. Should it'll be fine, don't worry. Well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Sean, a joke, it was a joke, or was it?
so bad. So, you must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected. But I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look. I'm not supposed to kill you. But the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you got to the camp. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this, it doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Son, I, uh, I owe you an apology. I, I shouldn't have lashed out like that. You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. Never mind that we live rather extraordinary lives. Yeah, I kind of liked my ordinary one. You can't escape who you are, Desmond. So I've noticed. Look, it's silly for us to go back and forth like this. I admit... I did a shitty job raising you. I apologize, I'm sorry. But it's important you understand it didn't come from a bad place. You're my son. I love you. I guess I was so busy trying to make sure nothing bad happened, I didn't consider the consequences. Truth. I can't believe it's taken me so long to ask, but... How's Mom? She's not... No, no, no. Your mother is fine. We decided it was safer if we split up for this job. Always assuming the worst. <laughs> for good reason. Can I at least say hi to her? I'm sorry it's too risky. Maybe when we're done. Right. When we're done. Good luck, Desmond. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects phrased. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already Kana. spun? All Spare these a moment. things I must determine. Of course. For only by Have knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. What is it? Xing Bao. Or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Xing to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Satcham, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. 
If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. If you insist, I'll fetch the guard! Won't suffice, Sam. We need to act, and I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen, but surely you can understand my reluctance to kick the hornet's nest. The Tories sting no matter what they do. Might as well make it count. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? 
I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled to quarter British... Order my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than sorry. Hey! It's my home! No matter what you thieves called taxmen say! The gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now! Open this door or these men will break it down! Ah! Ah, bollocks! We're coming in! Ah! Oh. I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. For once, I dare the governor to send more. <clears throat> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. Done for. Fresh damn. What happened here? Ah. Oh. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats enforcing some taxmen outside my home. The collectors grow bolder. 
and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. I 
Und der Dipage fließt damit! Bloody! Ich get a blow to the head? Some assistance over here. Oh, hell! 
This foul killer cannot be tolerated. Help us apprehend him and... Oh my god! That was a... human being! Fellows! In New York and Philadelphia, the tea has been sent away. In Charleston, the tea has been seized by the town itself. Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed! Pour me le payer, ces scélérats de merde! Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine. Oh! Regardez! Some pathetic red coats waiting for a beating! I will match your face to your target! Coquins me prennent mon père au Canada et voilà qui me ravit ma propriété ici. We are not English! We are not the king's men! We are free! But the king's It's time to fight! Stefan, please! Stop and listen to me! I've listened for long enough! They come into my home and take my things? I will get my revenge. The man responsible for this will pay. His friends will pay. Voilà trop longtemps que je suis baissé à fond. Ils vont coûter de mon courroux. You're looking for a fight, Englishman? I'll give you what you want. Justice, but this is not it. Where to get the head out? Excuse me. Well, let me see. I'm supposed to be in Jordan with Margaret in the morning, but there's no reason I couldn't. 
You want me to tell Johnson his tea mm. just spontaneously combusted? Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. to rob people blind by decree of the British Parliament or not British Parliament I work for William Johnson Johnson and his suffering cleanly please What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. The English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance, for what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams. Have my everlasting gratitude, sir.
like you. Stop. Stop now. Any form of assistance. Something in this miserable shithole. You're the lad. Neighborhood could use more men of action like yourself. My name is Connor. That's a lovely name for a man from Wales. What's your real name? Radohan Gedon. A strong name. You should use it. Mine's Duncan. Plain as they come. If you've the time to spare, I'd urge you to keep on doing what you're doing. This infernal gang needs to be stopped. How's it going, lad? I imagine you're busy these days. Not much has changed with regards to our local thugs. I'll lead you to it.
To know or use comfortable. <laughs> Haven't used the whip in a while. is bearing fruit, my boy. And I'm close to figuring out he's orchestrating this ugly symphony. But something's got people spooked beyond the usual gang stuff. Odd. Anyway, keep on it.
What a game is to be Thank you. You want to catch a beat? You won't catch it.
need some assistance. Good. Over here. Empty that purse. Spot the second dogs. Give me all your coin. You know how this. Bastard. Hey, uh, poor I Not yours. Not yours. Empty that purse. Spot the second dogs. Give me all your coin. You know how this works. You bastards. Hey, uh, four eyes. <laughs> Piss off. You want to catch up feeding? Get close. Keep moving, mate. Connor! Your work procedure. Now it's time to finish the job. I'm told this chap just materialized from the ether and nobody has a stones to, you know, challenge him. Until now, we we'll need a gang. A gang of our own. Fight fire with fire. About time we did something about those brutes. I want in. Good on you. That's one for the lads. Come on. Let's gather the rest. Boss clothes, get out! He was a Templar. What? Like a Knights Templar? Jesus. I know they were a spook story. They are very real. I'll take your word for it, lad. Well, it's been a real pleasure. If ever you need a hand in uh, whatever it is you're up to, I'm your man.
see the fruits of our bountiful sea.
shakes at heart. Poor son. Watch won't like you. something I've been meaning to tell you. I met your dad. It was a long time ago, in London. I was just a boy. Well, didn't meet him really. Just saw him to a fella in at the London Opera House. I was sitting in the balcony with an uncle of mine. Went to have a piss. And when I came back, there's your dad. Dashing as they come, he was. Shirt, jacket, immaculate. My uncle was just slumped there. Looked like he was sleeping, but I knew better, even if I was only a child. Your da locked eyes on me. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever been so frightened as I was in that instant. It wasn't a fear that he was going to cause me pain. It was this sense that he saw right through me, into my heart, and he would crush it if it had pleased him. But he didn't. 
He just raised his finger to his lips and gestured for my silence. I complied. And then he was gone. That must have been in the days before his betrayal was made public. He would have sailed for the colonies not long after. I'm astonished that you were actually there. You can imagine my surprise when I saw his face. Took me a while to piece it together, but uh, there you have it. Thought you'd like to know. Thank you. Stefan, how is your ale? Peace, but it gets the job done. My father would be disgusted. But after a day's work with you, a man needs to unwind. I would prefer a nice bottle of wine, but these colonies lack refinement. Your father? Mon père. He was a great man. A cook in the French army during the Seven Years' War. He marched all across the White North, feeding Louis-Joseph de Montcalm and his officers, cooking them feasts from sticks and berries. When the commander-in-chief opted for open conflict over manning the battlements of Quebec, every man was called to arms, including my father. He died on the field. But I'm told he fought ferociously. It matters little. He's gone now. He would be proud of you. This is my one hope, that he smiles upon the choices I've made. refuses to let What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I've an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Say the world, Connor, and I will make it so. Hail, good friends.
Those bastards at bay while the tea is being dumped. Let me help you. I'm yours to command.
We saved the last one for you. We get out of here. Kana, it has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings-on around the homestead. A true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good. It is done. Johnson is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the team. Only to hatch some new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. 
There was no need. Time will tell if you speak the truth. Radun Hagedum! Radun Hagedum! Ganon Dokong, why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they are meeting? You must be Connor. We've been raring to finally meet you. My name's Catherine, and this is Diana. We're the wives of those two blockheads who cut trees. Nice to meet you. We've heard so much of you from the boys. Glad to finally put a face to the name. The pleasure is mine. We were just discussing how nice this bit of territory is. On a river, with nobody upstream. I won't lie, Godfrey's letter had me a little worried. But now that we're here and settled, I must say I'm rather happy. They had us on this plot north of Champlain that was a tangle of rock and bramble. Ugh, horrible place. It's a real treat to be able to walk up the hill and take in the ocean. Your husbands must keep you busy. <laughs> Nothing we can't handle, Connor. The boys think they run the show, but the real bosses are right in front of you. I do not doubt it.
Zi na gani dar adit kanus de ne Johnson zi unja dar rocks tha. Kwa hi gan zi wat ne ganun hara dun hage dun. Ta kwa der hara ta kwa kanto. Signing our lines over to you, then we'll be as one in your debt forever. Sir William may have a point. What hope have we against their black powder and iron? The spirits will guide us as they always have. Did they not guide us here? Yes, that we might unmask the great betrayer. This is a mistake. We should sign.
Peace. Peace. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwicks. We remember you moved the borders. Even today your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Send one of your own to oppose me. An unwise decision. Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, that we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. It is the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. I was <laughs> not a good person, but I was <laughs> not a good person.
William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What if the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. You'll be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I made my life out here ever since. And living where the land makes it easiest. It's not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's, it's not. Kana! What are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it.
Johnson's opening up some of that mohawk purchased for free hunting soon. Might be a good hole up there. I hear tell. Strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No! I... Spare me! Go! Tell the friends you have left what happened here. You, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. <laughs> 